Klingemann from Growy Florist, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to make a glued wrist corsage. So what you need is, well, any kind of floral adhesive glue, a wristlet, and a bow. You also can have different types of wristlets that are available. There's diamonds, there's black diamonds, there's beads, there's pearls. There's all different types of wristlets available, but today I'm just gonna go ahead and use the standard wristlet. So the first thing I need to do is I like to fold these prongs over that are sticking out here because they can get a little sharp and you don't wanna scratch your wrist. And then you're going to tie your bow onto the wristlet, just like you would tie any kind of knot. You're gonna just bring it around, find the two ends and tie the knot. The next step you're gonna do is you're gonna get greenery and you're going to glue the greenery around the edge of the wristlet so to kind of cover the metal bar that's on here. So I chose today to use a little eucalyptus and a little um, pedisporum leaves because they're nice and flat and kind of broad shaped to cover that. And I'll take a little bit of the glue and I just put it right on the ends and keep gluing them all the way around till it kind of skirts the whole band. I have one prepared here so I'm going to skip over continuing to do that step so you can see my first two that I've put on on this one and here is after I've put the leaves all the way around. The next step is picking out the roses that you want to use for your corsage. Um, today I'm going to use baby roses or spray roses um, you can use all different types of flowers. Um, you can pick them from your yard. You can pick them up at your local florist. But you um, want to pick a smaller flower. They're easier. They aren't, don't get as heavy and floppy. So smaller flowers are better. Um, and you're going to cut them off of the stem right at the base, give a, giving a little nub so that you have some um, area to put some glue on. So now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to cut some baby's breath and I'm going to just cut some little pieces. You can really use as much as you want. So I'm going to peel off some of the petals that I think don't look real pretty and I'm going to put the glue just like I did on the greenery except I'm going to put it all the way around kind of on the row so it covers that. And I'm going to just find a good spot on this wristlet in between some of the ribbon and put my rose right on it and the ribbon will kind of help hold it. It's going to take a couple minutes to dry. You don't want to use way too much glue because it can get pretty messy, but if you do make a couple errors or something, um, you can use a little extra greenery or the baby's breath to kind of cover it up. And, and so right now, now I'm putting in just the little accent pieces, like I told you about the seeded eucalyptus and the baby's breath, and I'm just kind of finding spots that I feel like need a little extra fluff to them but there you have it and this is kind of what it turns out to look like in the end so I'll put it on so you can see the size it's not too big it's um, not too floppy and pretty comfortable to wear very light I hope that this video helps you make your own wrist corsage for the special day that you'd like to use it for thank you and have a great day